Hi all and welcome back to the another tutorial on service now. So this particular tutorial is I am creating for one of my subscriber named Chandra. So he has requested uh, me a solution for how to make attachment mandatory in catalog items in service now. Okay. So this is one of the basic requirement while developing service now catalog items is to make attachment mandatory in catalog items. Okay. Or make attachment mandatory on any other form custom form. It's um it's um uh, wherever it's required right okay so today we'll be demonstrating on the same okay um so before moving on to that right let's first decide on which particular catalog item we will be doing this so we'll go to maintain item maintain item is the place where we can see all the catalog items okay so for the people who don't know what is catalog item you will come to know right now it's like a shopping cart you can say so let's select one of the catalog item oh apple watch pretty amazing so we will be we'll be looking into this particular catalog item we can't buy it out but we can play around it right so let's have a use case okay we want to attach an attachment before submitting any request item so let's try it out let's see the ui for this hope it will not have any mandatory fields oh great so we want to buy this particular apple watch right so before that you have to the use cases you have to attach an attachment for example you have to attach your salary slip okay or offer letter you can say that you are you can afford apple apple products i'm not a big fan of apples okay so in this way we if we have this use case okay First of all, let's understand okay, where exactly means whenever you store an attachment. Where exactly this attachment gets stored? Do you know this? Okay, is it stored on that particular record itself? If yes, then is there any field on the record which determines okay, okay this is stored in this particular field? I don't think it gets stored in any kind of on the form itself or in that record itself. So we have a separate table for attachments okay attachments are pretty useful right so how to get to that so the table name is sys underscore okay is sys underscore attachment t t a c h m e n t and dot list okay so all the attachments from all the tables get stored over here what format it support it supports all the document format all the pngs everything it supports over you so let's open this you can see there are 107 at attachments right now okay so let's just open this photo one okay let's let me show you so what is that okay so as you can see as soon as i click on that that particular file got downloaded so this is how attachment is stored it has a file name. The f uh, it will it will capture the name of the file which you have attached. It will pull the content type, whether it's image, JPG, PDF, whatever it is. Okay. Then it will then it should have pointer right from which particular record it came. So for that we have table from which particular table it came right. So it says attachment. Then we have table CSID. Okay. Table CSID is you can consider it as the record CSID. Okay, for which record is happening, and then we have created. These are the basic fields on this attachment table. So let's move ahead and screw. Oh, sorry, uh, implement the functionality on this Apple uh, Apple Watch. So for this, what we have to do first of we first will will be creating a script include, which will check okay if this particular attachment is attached or not. Okay, which will validate it out. So we will go to script include. Okay, I was trying this for the first time. Let's see if it works. Script include. Then we will create a new script include. Let's give it a name. Validate attachments. I'll give it as a as a dash validate attach underscore validate attachments definitely it should be a client callable one because we want to define it on a UI only we don't want users to submit the request if they have not attached the attachments okay 
so we'll make it client call event okay the signature got changed right if you have not seen this just go to my glide ajax tutorial and look over there you can see in the info message the link for the same so go and check it out so we have the script include ready now we will create a function for the same okay so let's give the name as check attachment okay it will return boolean yes or no whether that attachment is added through to that record or not okay and we will add function okay perfect now we will simply glide it out right variable chia attachments equal to new glide record okay which table you know it says attachment table how to take the name go to the URL take the name okay I give says attachment table now I explain you the structure for that particular table right so what we have to do first of all we have to pass the table name right on which so I will add chia gr gr attachment dot add query okay first query I will give for the table name this particular we want to check first the table right so table name I will give it, its name is table underscore name and I will give it a value of catalog I, uh, cart only right so it's sc underscore cart underscore item okay now the next step is like you have to check you have checked for table now you have to check for that record in the table whether the attachment is so we will add again one query gr attachment dot add query okay the second attribute will by pass as table sys underscore id table sys id is nothing but the record sys id okay now this particular thing we can hard code the name of the table but we can't hard code the sys id right it should come from the client side so for that we will define an attribute okay and at a later point we will use that attribute so let's take that attribute you know how to fetch the attribute right so it's this dot get parameter parameter let's give it an id sys param underscore catalog underscore id okay this is a catalog id you can consider now once this is done now what we want to do we want to simply query it out so it's here attachment dot query now we will check whether it has any record present for this particular any attachment record for this particular record or not if yes then we return yes if no we will return true no okay so how will the if here attachment dot next if ha it has a record then you can either pass boolean I will prefer yes or no so I will give return yes okay else I will return no okay so to explain this script to you again we have created a function we have created a script include which is client callable we have created a function in that script include called check attachment what exactly doing it will glide to the sys attachment table with the table name syscart means it's for coming from a catalog item and we have given a query that table sysid means record sysid is equal to whatever we are getting from the client side we'll be passing it we are querying if we are getting any record yes it has attachment we will return yes if do it don't have an attachment we will return no pretty straightforward we missed the comma over here it's done now let's move to the catalog 
this is a catalog item sorry where is so now let's move to the catalog item how to move to the catalog item right click okay configure item now we will create on submit grindscape because we want to validate it when a user tries to submit that particular request right so for that we will create on submit client script catalog client script okay so we will go come to catalog client script we click new we'll give as a underscore validate attachment the name applies to catalog item act equal to true ui type is xstop type we'll keep it as on submit okay it applies to this particular catalog item now we'll write a code okay so first of all we need record ssid so right so we'll give variable catalog item id okay equal to g underscore form dot get value of sys param underscore item underscore guid perfect so we got the record id okay then what we'll do variable attach check i will give this name to the client ajax because we want to execute a method on the server side right so we'll be like new it's not the spelling for new right new don't buy apple products if you don't have money so client ajax now the first attribute as you always know if you don't know go and check my tutorial on client ajax okay we have to pass the scripting to name so scripting to name is validate attachments right so where is the record okay we'll pass validate attachment then it will be like attach dot add param the second attribute is sysparam name which will be the function which we want to call right name comma what was the name for that function we again check attachment right great check attachment we again then attach check dot add param now what is this we need the id right we need the geo id right so for that so what attribute we have given over here we'll copy that says param catalog id okay comma we'll give this catalog item id going well till now now we want to use get xml wait because it should be a synchronous call right we can't go with the asynchronous call over here so it's we can go attach check dot get xml wait okay now we we will get the output right okay so its variable is attachment available i will give this variable name pretty long but you should always go with the variable name which will define what exactly it's doing right so it will be like equal to that check dot get answer okay this is done then if we are not going with get answer xml and other we can directly get the answer right if is attachment available is equal to equal to 
yes if we have the attachment okay we will return true and you can submit the request if it's not okay we'll like else else if if is attachment available is equal to equal to have equal to equal to no okay no then we don't want a user to uh, so we will give alert okay we'll give alert and in the alert we will give hey bro submit your salary slip first okay because based on that it's only if it's of we can we will decide if we can afford it or not and if we return false pretty easy coding right <laughs> it should work basically so we have this particular script include we have created a catalog client script which is of type on submit we'll save it out okay and now let's move to this apple watch series 2 is the same right now if I do try it if we have the catalog line script over here only right yes now if I go to try it we have this apple watch we like this apple watch it's pretty good if I click on order now it should throw me an error right so if I click so it give me an error hey bro submit the salary slip first okay so I have to submit my salary slip before proceeding on this let's so let's try to attach an attachment and then then, then let's see if after giving a salary slip it's working for me or not okay so let's give proper salary slip itself so I have to do, do recruitment uh, here I have my salary slip right so now I'm giving my salary slip and I can afford it out okay so now I have provided salary slip now if I go for order now it should allow me to proceed with the order okay if I go with the order now now my order got submitted okay so this is all for this tutorial hope Chandra you are happy okay with the demonstration you can implement in your project okay in the similar way it's pretty straightforward and for others please drop in comments the next tutorial you want to see from my side I will try to create tutorials on the same till then like follow subscribe stay with me in this journey of service now learning let's learn together okay stay safe stay happy and have a nice day like follow subscribe good night and have a nice day bye bye